All right, y'all, so it looks like we have some new items in Mobile Legends. Let's see what's going on and say these items are instant kill items, bro. That sound OP. Let's get it. An assassin item that can instantly kill. Marksman item that can increase range. Hey, That's going to be up? broke. Today, we've got some exciting news about the new items from Leila's workshop. Instant kill. Based on the developers, they want to give assassins with a high risk, high reward option that can intensify their early game combat. The unique passive of the item will be like this. After dealing damage with a basic attack or skill, you can instantly kill heroes with X% percent or less HP. Each hero killed adds 10 stacks and 8 stacks are lost upon death. Each stack increases the execution threshold by 0.1% up to a maximum of X stacks. This item also has adaptive attack and movement stats. From what I understand, this is a chance-based item that activates when you deal damage to an enemy with a certain HP percentage. Mm. If it has no cooldown, there's a high chance for fast attack speed heroes to instantly kill their targets because they attack frequently. Who do you think can benefit from this upcoming item? Increase basic attack range. Great. The developers aim to enhance the kiting ability of marksmen with basic attacks so they came up with this new item. It will have lifesteal, physical attack, and attack speed. The active effect will increase their basic attack range by X% percent for 2 seconds. I'm finna be back on Marksman, baby, yeah! Cause this item is crazy. I like this. I like this though. And then everybody got dashes and CC. This item is kinda needed. It's kind of a needed item for sure. Everybody got so many dashes and CC now, so being able to keep your range a little better is crazy. And then get a hero like Carrie, whose range is smaller. Now she can safely clap cheeks. I mean, eh, that's fire. Duration will reset when hitting an enemy hero with a basic attack. And it's limited for marksman rows. So nice. it's an active effect, which means you'll need to press it, just like Winter Truncheon and Wind of Nature. And it applies to several basic attacks, as long as you're hitting an enemy hero. Imagine Leila with her already long-range passive using this item. Or yeah, how about sick. Moskov, right? He can finally attack from a safer distance. Magic yep. item with HP-based damage. The developer said mages lack items that can deal significant damage to high HP heroes, so they will introduce a new one. No stats yet, but the unique passive will work like this. Within a short period of time, each accumulation of X points of magic damage dealt to enemy heroes will deal extra magic damage equal to X percentage of their max HP. A bit confusing, but from what I understand, once you deal a certain amount of damage to an enemy, the next damage will be based on the target's maximum HP. So, similar to Demon Hunter Sword, right? Maybe it collects stats, and once it's full, that's when the HP based damage will kick in. So, who do you think will benefit from this new item? Nathan, maybe? Bloodless Axe and Queen Swings combination. The developers will combine Bloodless Axe and Queen Swings into a single item, and the goal is to make it suitable for a wider range of fighters. It will have adaptive mm. attack, HP, cooldown reduction, and hybrid lifesteal. Its unique passive works like this. If your HP is below a certain percentage, it will reduce the cooldown of all skills by X seconds and gain a shield for 3 seconds. The effect has a cooldown, but it's still undecided. So it has the stats of Endless Battle and the shield of Rose Gold Meter. The good news is that it's now adaptive attack, giving Sylvana, Esmeralda, and Guinevere more item options. Clock of That's Destiny fire. Revamp They are revamping the effects of Clock of Destiny because the slow growth mechanism is not well suited for the fast-paced ML gameplay. Stats are still unknown but the unique passive will increase your defense each time you deal damage. It can last for 5 seconds and can stack up to X times. So there's still a lot of unknown factors on Clock of Destiny, but we can guess where they're going. They want to give damage and survivability without the time-based stack collection we have right now. Thunderbelt Adjustments The developers heard your suggestions on Thunderbelt and there are two main concerns about the item. Number 1. The slow effect is too strong which causes damage dealing heroes to choose it. Number 2. Marksman may choose this item because it can be triggered with basic attacks. 
the developer said they will address these issues by adjusting attributes to better suit tank heroes instead. So, goodbye to Harry and Clint Thunderbolt users. That's right? crazy. Use it while it lasts. And those are all the item discussions. I'm going to use it today. I'm going to use it today, baby. Discussions happening in Layla's workshop. That's a lot of adjustments and it will certainly shake the meta we have right now. Unpopular heroes will rise again with these adjustments. And many items are turning into adaptive ones, giving us a more balanced approach when it comes to item selection. If you want to be heard by the developers, you can add suggestions in the comment section at Layla's workshop. So which heroes do you think will become OP with these new adjustments? Share it in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching. Yeah, this was a good video. There's so much information, so many changes coming. I think this is going to be really, really good. I think a lot of strong, um, a lot of strong items is going to lead to more heroes being used and more heroes being dominated with. Like that range on the marksman is going to be fire. And imagine like certain heroes like Clint now is going to be even harder to get get out of his range. It's like this is actually really, this is really good. It's really exciting. And it's for like every role. So yeah, I'm happy about that. But let me know what you all think. Um, That's pretty much it, y'all. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, fam.